Hi, welcome to Nickwell Motorhomes. I'm Andy, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Knauss Live i900 Ali G A-Class Motorhome. If you're bored of the nine to five life and yearn for life on the open road, but you really have no intentions of slumming it and want to travel to Europe and beyond in comfort, then I think I might have the van for you. And she really is a whopper. Whoever said that size doesn't matter has never set foot in this beast. She's huge, luxurious, and a real head turner. Now, before we start going too far into spec, it's important to remember that Knauss is a German motorhome manufacturer. And like most German motorhome manufacturers of a similar ilk, a lot of the options are just that, options. So the same van can have a very different outcome depending on how it's been spec'd up. So bear this in mind when you're looking around this particular model. Right, lecture over. This one is based on a 2.2 litre, 180 brake horsepower, nine speed automatic Fiaticato. It has an Alco AMC low frame chassis, full LED front lighting and crosswind assist. It has a length of 8.59 metres, a height of 2.79 metres and a width of 2.32 metres and a technical maximum authorised laden mass of 5,000 kilograms. It has four berths, four travel seats, making it a great combination of long distance tourer for two or a really roomy family motorhome. Let's take a look inside. In the cab, we have all the equipment you would expect from a high-end motorhome manufacturer and Fiat, such as cruise control, media center, reversing camera, steering wheel controls, and a leather steering wheel. We also have ESP, a post-collision braking system, crosswind assist, a trailer stability control system, traction plus, driver and passenger airbags, and a drop-down double bed above the cab. This is to mention just a fraction of what's going on in here. Now also both captain seats swivel to maximize the whole of this whopping 8.59 meter footprint. And as with all A-classes, you get masses of living space in the front and a fantastic amount of natural light. The one thing I haven't gone into yet, but I'm always really quite excited about, is the heads up display unit. Now, you rarely come across these in a motorhome, but for any of you who've had this in your car will know how fantastic it is. Basically, you pop it up when you're driving, as the name suggests, it shows your speed. Now, this is great as it's right in your eye line, meaning you don't have to look down every few seconds, and it should help you not end up with a speeding ticket. The dinette has this adjustable table, which you can see has a drop down side. Now this gives you plenty of space to entertain around. There are two extra travel seats, the back of the settee on the passenger side, but it's the settees that are the real selling point of this lounge. Most Continental Motorhomes have very upright fixed dinettes, which are great for traveling, but maybe not so comfortable if you've been sat there for three days if it's pouring down outside. The ability to be able to Pop your feet up and relax really can't be underestimated if you've been touring and you're in the van for long periods of time. An option on this model has cream, nature, genuine leather upholstery. Not an option is the masses of storage that you've got on both sides. Now, going back to the table for a second, we did say earlier it's for birth, for travel, which is true. But this table, as I said, is fully adjustable and that can lock up on the one side. Now by doing that, and then you move this over, you lift up, you can drop it down. Now that would actually give you the base of a sixth berth because this could easily be made into a double. All you need is a piece of memory phone on top. Still only got the four travel seats, but it's an option. The kitchen is well spaced out, giving you three gas hobs, a sink, and a decent amount of work surface space. Below, we have a gas oven with a grill function. The three-way fridge with separate freezer compartment has double hinged doors and a whopping 177 litre capacity. The kitchen drawers all have a soft close function. Now, on the other side of the galley, we have these two large storage cupboards with hanging facilities. Right next to the habitation door. Here we have the 12 volt control panel and the control panels for the Truma E6 heating and hot water systems, which is a combined gas and electric unit. 
below we have the habitation door which also has a fly screen the bathroom is a very clever design with a separate shower on this side in cassette toilet wash basin and large storage area on this side the clever bit though is by shutting this door here from the toilet it closes off from the main habitation area meaning that if you want to go to bed early but the other people in the motorhome want to stay up late you still get your privacy and a decent night's sleep also we have a curtain that can be pulled across in front of the bedroom effectively making this into a jack and jill bathroom and a completely separate bathroom suite the i900 has these single berths that can be made into a large transverse double we also have good storage facilities on both sides and directly above at the back the skylight is massive and lets in loads of natural light below the bunks there's good wardrobe space and even more storage and of course there's also a large wardrobe right in front of the bedroom the drop down bed above the cab is a real double and will take two good sized adults. Now it's really easy to drop down. The first thing you have to do, which I've already done because I'm cheating, is drop the two cab seats. Then you unclip, it catches either side, press in and you literally just drop it down. Like I said, really easy. The beauty of the garage isn't just the size, but also the carrying capacity, which is a whopping 250 kilograms which means it's ideal if you want to take a scooter or a couple of good sized electric bikes now the other thing is your eyes don't deceive you that is a proper spare wheel in a continental motorhome who'd have thought before we start looking around the exterior of this monster let's have a little bit more technical information up above we have a grp roof with reduced hail sensitivity a resistant underfloor coating and bow in LFI technology. The wall thickness in the roof is 32 millimeters. The thickness of the side walls are 31 millimeters and the wall thickness of the floor is 40 millimeters. Right, that's enough tech spec. Let's take a look around and see what we can see. So we have the wider door and the electric step. Floofy heating, Two of these on this bad boy, which is a big van. Of course, you've got your Fiat alloy wheels. One of the things that really impresses me is the front. I mean, this thing looks about as mean as it comes for an A-Class. A lot of A-Classes, they really can look quite passive. Not this bad boy. You've got your diesel and your ad blue filler here, which again has been nice because they've actually marked it. The amount of people who've ended up putting water in the diesel or diesel in the water in an A-class of last counts. Here we have access to utilities. So we've got your fresh water tank, we've got your fresh new wastewater drains just here, your drain for your boiler, and you'll see there you've got your electric hookup point. Now that comes up from underneath, you pop it through and it locks in. As we were saying the second flu, fridge vents, of course she is a tag axle so of course we've got the extra wheels just here garage which we've already been in and of course we have your reversing camera as we come around this side again garage so you've got both sides access and of course access to your gas locker just here now the other difference on this one which is an option is the awning and of course you have the awning light and last but not least, your cassette toilet. So, as a roundup, what can we say about the Knauss Live i900? Well, first, it is a beautiful machine and well put together, but you'd expect that from Knauss. What you might not expect is the level of comfort on offer. This really is a house on wheels. House? No, home on wheels. Now, this is a great couples or family motorhome. You really could tour for months in this sort of quality. Or alternatively, you could just pack up and live in the thing. For a full list of features on this model, please refer to the specification list on our website at nickwhale.com or give us a call and see if we have one for you to view. For 
anyone looking to purchase a large touring A-Class, this has to be on your viewing list. Now, thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye. Thank you.